Keith Doerr and Christine Killingsworth talk about which couple is not hopeless in Married at First Sight. The MAFS alumni also discuss each couple's communication styles in Wednesday's episode recap, as well as any future advice they may have for them. On the eighth season of Married at First Sight, which was filmed in Philadelphia and aired in 2019, Keith Doerr and Christine Killingsworth fell in love and got hitched. Season 15 of Married at First Sight, which follows five San Diego-based couples as the reality of their newlywed loves together, sets in debut in a lifetime on July 6th. Doerr and Killingsworth give people their recap of the recap of their episode from Wednesday night. When getting to know your spouse, trust often serves as a foundation for married first sight couples. Morgan and Ben. Although we are aware that Morgan and Ben have struggled to establish or restore trust throughout their relationship, we were nonetheless impressed by their bravery in continuing to put forth their best efforts in the hope of success. Every time a couple is struggling throughout the season, we always reflect on how unfortunate it is that they allow themselves to give up once they begin to have problems and friendly disagreements. They cut off the communication, and once that happens, everything is over. We do appreciate that they have kept on giving their all. Finally, Morgan changed the course of events by deciding she didn't want to take part in the exercise because she didn't want to be exposed. Even though it was upsetting, we could comprehend why. Though marriage is between you and your spouse and not your friends, we still felt bad for Ben. If you gossip to your friends about your partner and then later reconcile, your friend will still view them unfavorably because of what you said to them a few weeks earlier. Morgan must also create a space where he feels free to speak. No one wants to speak. Stasha and Nate. When asked if we have any advice for those considering marriage at first sight, we we'll always say to be honest and open with both your partner and yourself throughout the entire process. And it appears that Stasha and Nate have accomplished this. They complement each other very well and have already been very accepting and understanding of one another. We adore the fact that they are both essentially business owners and that their motivation seems to be compatible. We always enjoy a strong couple dynamic and will support these two. Alexis and Justin Alexis and Justin have a long history of being very understanding and patient with one another. Alexis was allowing herself to be more open in her marriage and realizes that being open can strengthen the union rather than be viewed as a sign of weakness. To communicate their feelings to one another in public, Justin and Alexis should come up with safe words. Learning your partner takes time and it's challenging to read a stranger's expression. Kristen and Mitch Mitch needs to get his head out of his as well as give his wife confidence in herself. Kristen must defend herself too. However, Mitch started to finally open up during the visits to each other's homes, and we love that. It's not hopeless because we caught glimpses of these two being happy here. There is no question that these two enter the process prepared for love, marriage, children, and the whole nine yards. This week, they almost made me worry while we were talking to Dr. Pepper because despite their assurances that everything was fine, they were sitting on the couch about five feet apart. At least, they appeared at ease. I wonder if there was some disagreement about that because Lindy's face was expressionless when I asked if they had to clear their love for one another, but by the end of the episode, they had worked it out. We wish them nothing but the best because their marriage is lovely and flourishing. We're looking forward to the accelerating ride next week because this season is a doozy.